Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I am Dollarholic Mama and today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. So this one I'm going to start with a bunch of beauty and health items that I was able to find. First thing, face masks at Dollar Tree. Absolutely blown away by the fact that they are even carrying them at all. I think this is fantastic for those looking for a cheap face mask. Um, hopefully the quality on these is good. I haven't opened it yet to give it a shot, so I will be including this in an upcoming review video, but I wanted to pick it up and check it out and let you guys know my thoughts on it because for $1.25, that's a really good deal for a reusable mask. So this is just a plain black. There were no different colors or patterns, and it's just this one size fits all style of mask. It is the kind where the ear loops are kind of built into the mask uh, so there's no like adjusting for size or anything like that so do keep it in mind if you are planning on picking one up like most of the masks that are coming into Canada they are made in China so if that is not something you want um, definitely do avoid them but I thought for $1.25 I'd pick it up and give it a shot and tell you guys what I think then I also grabbed a package of antibacterial wet wipes. These are by Deep Fresh and you get 15 in here. I thought this was such a uh, fantastic size to keep in my purse and to use to use on like the shopping cart handles and things like that. Um, I find that a lot of stores in my area aren't being as, you know, um, adamant about their cart um, cleaning and stuff like that so I thought it would be good to have these on hand and just give it a wipe down myself just to be sure. Then I also picked up a package of uh, the Nitrile Durable Gloves. These are by Cured and you get eight in here. It says one size fits most. Um, I actually picked these up uh, for this coming weekend. My father and I are in a baseball tournament and we have to disinfect the bats and the balls and I thought it would be good to have some gloves on while we're using those. Otherwise the, um, you know, the stuff that's in the cleaners and that can get to your hands and it's really harsh. So I thought it would be nice to have the gloves on hand. Also in case multiple players are doing it, we each have a glove that we can wear. Then I did pick up some hauls and I was super excited to find these ones because they are the Soothe. So they are not, you know, super intense or anything like that. They are in the honey vanilla flavor and you get nine lozenges in each of them. So super excited to have these on hand for, you know, the upcoming fall and cold season. And they are good all the way until August 25th of next year. So lots of time. And then I also picked up a package of the VIX, but these are the vitamin C orange drops and you get 20 drops in here. So these are good just to have on hand in case you're not meeting your daily vitamin C requirements. You can pop one of these and kind of get it that way, which is often uh, the case around here. I don't often get my vitamin C and these are good until September of 2021. So again, lots of time to use them up. And then we're kind of switching over to uh, the uh, beauty. I was excited to find the Nobleman Cooling Face and Body Wipes at the DT. Um, these have actually started coming in to the Dollaramas here in Canada, but this is my first time finding them at the Canadian DT, so I was super excited for these. Uh, you do get 30 uh, wipes in here, and these ones are with aloe and eucalyptus. So I did actually pick these up for my dad. I thought again for baseball, these would be nice to kind of just wipe down your face in between games and kind of cool down a little bit because it's supposed to be quite warm on Saturday. Then I did get two lip products. So I got this Lip Smacker in Mango Mix, which I had never seen before. I thought this would be nice just to kind of finish off the summer with. Absolutely love Lip Smackers, have been using these since I was a child, and I always love when they put out new flavors. And then I did pick up an e.l.f. lip gloss, and this is Prismatic Lip Gloss in Rose Quartz. And it's very hard to tell. It's a very, very light color. I'm wondering how much shine it's going to give being prismatic, but I thought I would pick it up and give it a shot. I do like most of the e.l.f. products that I have picked up in the past, so I have high hopes for that. 
Oh, and I do have another um, health item, I guess. It's the hand cleanser. So this is by Purist and it is a 70% alcohol and you do get 60 milliliters in here and this is the one with aloe so it's a little bit gentler on your hands. So I was excited to come across that. Seems like you can never have enough hand sanitizer these days. Then I did grab a couple household items. So the first things I got are these gorgeous baskets by Essentials. Uh, they had put out this style where it's like this woven texture to it um, last season and they had it in like an orange and a red but I don't recall them ever having the blue so I did pick it up this year and it is in a wider size. Um, I picked up orange ones last year but they were like long and skinny and I've used them to organize my fridge but I thought the navy would be nice to put in my uh, eldest son's room and kind of store his little like like knickknacks and little toys and stuff that doesn't really have a home I thought these would be perfect for that and it's nice because they do have the handle so you can just slide it on and off the shelf and the fact that they're plastic they're going to hold up a lot better than the um, fabric bins that you can get from Dollar Tree so I was super excited to come across these then I did get a clear container this is just a staple that Dollar Tree always seems to carry it's just a little screw off lid um, I'm not sure if I would trust it for food because I'm not sure how good of a seal it is but I'm actually going to be using it um, for a teaching resource that I will show you either in this haul or in an upcoming haul but I just got it to hold a little resource so it's nothing that needs to stay fresh. But I did like how it had this little easy hold handle and again something that makes it simple to pull off a shelf if you wanted to use it for storing you know craft supplies or something like that that would be good for that as well. Then I picked up a electronic timer by Cooking Concepts. Um, my kiddos often, well not often, but sometimes need a time out, um, whether it just be to calm their body down, um, if they're not having, you know, not emotionally reacting to something in a, like a healthy way, often I'll tell them to go calm their body and they have to, you know, spend a minute or two with, you know, breathing and stuff like that. Um, also just if there's poor behavior between them and one of their siblings, they will sit in timeout and I thought it would be good for them to have like a visual representation of how much time they have left and then they'll know when to come out of timeout when the alarm goes off. So I thought it would be handy to have. Um, it does have a little stand on the back that pops out so you can lean it and I thought this would just be handy to have. And it did come in multiple colors, there was blue, red and black so I picked up the blue one. Then I did grab two packages of the Sunbeam C size batteries. Now with the C's and the D's you do only get two in a package which isn't a great value but in comparison to you know name brand ones at other stores $1.25 for two is still a really good deal when it comes to this size of battery. And they're just going in like a little toy that doesn't use much power so I think they will last a fair amount of time as well. Then I did grab some picture frames. So I grabbed two of the collage photo frames. Um, I actually use these uh, to put up pictures of the calendars. A while back I hauled um, a couple of the calendars for the upcoming 2021 year and I said that I don't use them as calendars. I break them down and then I display the pages that I like. So these are the frames that I typically do that in. Um, it does end up leaving a slight white border around, but I find that it looks really nice and for $1.25 you cannot beat that. So I think these are, they're about like 12 by 12 or something like that all the way around. So it's a really good size and like I said, they fit those calendar pages almost perfectly. So if you're looking for a way to display those, I would highly recommend you try out these frames. Okay, so I guess I will show you that educational resource now so it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, they are actually called Foam Fun Craft Blocks and you get 50 pieces in here. 
but I actually picked them up to use for, you know, sorting activities. So you could sort by shape, you could sort by color, um, then you could have them build a tower that has a pattern in it, lots of different educational activities um, you could do with these little foam shapes. So I did pick up this little storage bin to put those foam shapes in, just so that they're not getting, you know, lost. Once you open this bag, it's not resealable, so I wanted to have something for them. But I absolutely love, too, the primary colors in there. Um, and then they've thrown in the green and the orange. I think they are absolutely fun and bright. And this is a good way to keep your kids interested when you're teaching them some type of math concept. And then I did pick up a couple stationary items. So the first things that I got are these two sets of rulers. So this first one is space themed and you get your normal straight ruler, you get a protractor and then you get the angled ruler and they are that holographic look to them. So they do have some movement, which I thought was really, really cool. They are not super thick or anything like that. You actually pop them out of the sheet that they come in, but I thought it would be good to have on hand, um, sometimes not often. Um, my eldest needs to use a protractor. He's going into grade four, so it's kind of starting up now. But my kids love uh, just drawing lines and shapes with the rulers, so I thought they would be good to have on hand either way. And then I did pick up this one with the dinosaurs. They also had a dog-themed one and a emoji-themed one, but I did only, did only grab the two of them. Then I grabbed two more list pads, and I think these are absolutely beautiful. There was a bunch of new ones to choose from, so I had to refrain and only grabbed two of them. So these are by Jot. You get 60 sheets, and of course they have the magnet on the back. And this one says, don't be salty, be sweet. And then it has a strawberry and a super cheery pineapple. And I love the backing, like the color of it with the marbling of the pink. I think that is so gorgeous. Really nice for a list pad. And then the next one says, do small things with great love. And I love the blue with the floral up top. I think that is so pretty. And like I said, multiple different ones to choose from. So you could probably find one to suit anyone's preference or decor that they happen to have. Then I grabbed two pens. I love to grab the novelty pens whenever I see them. I've been putting them aside for eventually when I have my own classroom as kind of like incentives or rewards. And I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. So you have kind of like this fake gem up top and then you've got this ombre effect with the color changing. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Then I did pick up three composition notebooks. So these have a uh, hundred sheets in them and they are by Jot. And I love how they have this craft paper uh, style to them. I actually have hauled this one before that says smart is my superpower, but I actually got these uh, from my mom to keep at her house. She wanted a little notebook for each of my kiddos to have there because they love writing in notebooks. It's one of their favorite things to do. So I did grab this one. Then I got You Glow Girl. And I love that color of that like orange. It's almost very neon. It's very pretty. And then this one has purple planets and stars and moons on it, which of course is for my youngest. I'm trying to find and see if there's a fourth one in that series so I could get that for my um, eldest child as well. Otherwise, I might have to get one that's a different style. But with my kiddos, I try to like to keep it the same but different. So it's the same series, but they each get a different one in the series because I find that keeps it the most fair. Then I grabbed a eight color changing pen and this is in the Frozen 2. So I did put this, I get this to put in my youngest daughter's stocking for Christmas. They absolutely love writing in pen and the fact that it's frozen, I thought she would absolutely love. Then I also grabbed uh, two pads of their three-in-one activity pads. If you've never picked these up before, I highly recommend them. 
uh, you get 30 construction paper sheets, 50 sheets of scribble paper, and 10 sheets of tracing paper. So you get a mix of everything in here, which is really cool. Um, they do have it kind of interspersed. So you have your construction paper there, um, mix in with your scribble paper and your tracing paper. But I absolutely love these pads. I think they are so handy to have. Um, I love how it's a mix of all three papers. My kiddos absolutely love these and they go through them like crazy. Then I did get a package of notebooks. So you get three notebooks in here and they are the emoji themed. My eldest son absolutely loves emojis. He thinks they're so much fun. So I did pick these up for him. This one says mental note. Then you have one with all the faces overlapping on the back. And then the middle one is actually pink. So that might go to one of my daughters if he doesn't want it. But if he wants it, that'll be for him as well. And this is by a brand I hadn't seen before. So it's Copyright Designs um, by the IG Design Group and it's out of the States. So that was pretty cool. And then I also picked up two emoji sticker pads. So the first one is just your basic emojis and you get reusable stickers and uh, scene pages. So you get like giant emoji stickers. And then you do get a bunch of pages in here, different colors and themes that you can decorate with the stickers or you can just use for other art and craft products. And then this one is emoji theme, but it is the unicorns. So you've got the unicorns and the rainbows. Look at that giant unicorn sticker. My girls are absolutely going to love that. And again, you get the pages that you can decorate with the stickers, which will look really, really cute, especially with the rainbow there. So really excited to come across those. And again, these are that same brand as the notebooks that copyright uh, designs. Then I did get one more notebook and this is to go for my eldest daughter's birthday. As I've mentioned multiple times, she's having an LOL themed, so I was really excited to come across this. And this is really unique because you get 140 pages in the big notebook and then you get 48 pages in this little notebook that's attached to the front. And it actually is in the shape of the little dolls on the front. And then that's your big notebook. And they're just lined pages in each. And the big one has the little LOL doll up in the corner. Absolutely cute for $1.25. Was really excited to come across that. And then one more LOL themed item is this pencil case. Doesn't need to be for, you know, stationary supplies. She could just use it to put her little LOL accessories in like their shoes and clothes, which is probably what she'll end up doing but I thought it was really, really cute with the little dolls on there as the little carrying handles and just a single zipper compartment in there. This was actually on display in a Walmart uh, box. Like they actually put the Walmart box up on the Dollar Tree shelf. So this is a Walmart product. So you know it was definitely probably in that three to four dollar range. So to get it for $1.25 is absolutely fantastic. And then the last stationary item I got is this magnifying glass by Jot. Um, I actually got it for my kiddos as a possible reward. Um, I've been gathering items uh, to put aside for them. They earn uh, stickers for good behavior and for helping out around the house, um, for showing compassion and, you know, uh, positive feelings toward their siblings. They earn stars and stickers for all sorts of behaviors like that and they are able to trade in the uh, stars and stickers that they earn uh, for little gifts and little treats and stuff like that. So they were obsessed with the magnifying glass at my mom's house so I thought I would pick one up and put it in their little reward bin that they can choose from. So I think they'll actually be really excited for that. And that is it for this haul you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the items that I was able to find and hopefully I've inspired you as usual to jot some things down onto your wish list or to you even just head right out to your local store. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you're each staying safe, healthy, and happy. Bye for now.